This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Pattern Fern. This design is stitched by first starting with a long wiggly line. And if you're going to take this through your quilting space, you can really take it anywhere. I'm going from one edge of this block to another. But if you wanted to fill, like let's say, a border with this, you'd want to take the stem line throughout that border because it's really going to serve as a base for the rest of the design. Now the second part of the design is to travel along this stem and branch out with some wiggly leaves. And you just branch those out and the leaves are what really is going to fill your quilting space. And the cool thing about these leaves, you can leave them completely open. That's another design called fern and stem. But in this situation, because this is a pattern fern, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to fill the leaves with another design called lacy lattice. And that's just kind of these back and forth kind of loopy shapes. It's a little difficult to see because this is so small and on such a small scale. But here I'm going to branch out with a slightly bigger leaf and hopefully you can see it. I just kind of loop uh, up and around creating these kind of figure eight shapes making sure that they interlock and fill that leaf completely. It really is a very easy design and the nice thing about it is it kind of flows evenly so it's not actually very time consuming to fill each leaf with this pattern. So you're just going to continue branching off of these leaves taking them throughout your quilting space and once you fill one entire side you're just simply going to travel stitch or break thread and move to the opposite side branching off uh, with more leaves and filling them with the lacy lattice pattern. Here you can see it a lot clearer how I'm just kind of swirling in and around creating these figure eight shapes to fill each leaf. It really does work very nicely to fill and the leaves can be any size or shape. If you want them to be very wide and take up lots of space the pattern can still go in and fill that. That's the really cool thing about this design is it's going to change the texture a little bit but it's going to create even more interesting effects when you expand it or shrink it on the surface of your quilt. So bearing all that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Pattern Fern. Find over 300 videos on free motion quilting plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.